Time for our weekly update on lunacy on campus. An assistant professor of religious studies at Lehigh University in Pennsylvania sparked controversy with what he's calling the 10 Cracker Commandments. The list of rules intended to help white people understand how they fit into the Black Lives Matter movement. <clears throat> Here with that story, more controversies. Caleb Bottom of Campus, <coughs> campus Reform, excuse me. <laughs> Good morning. What Good is morning. this? Yeah, so uh, Christopher Driscoll, assistant professor at Lehigh, uh, he wrote these 10 cracker commandments, <laughs> which just <laughs> absolutely is ridiculous, uh, as, as a part to try to figure out what a white person's role in the Black Lives Matter movement is. Uh, and what, what we see this as... Wait, isn't cracker, uh, I mean, a slur? Yeah, it's like a, it's like a racial slur for white people. Uh, how that's acceptable is, is beyond me. I mean, I thought we were above that as a society, identifying people based solely on the, on the color of skin and then using that as a derogatory term. You'd think so. Yeah. So he, he's come to the table with these 10 cracker commandments, and uh, they're absolutely absurd. The number one cracker commandment is that you need to acknowledge that hashtag Black Lives Matter. You know, I myself, last time I checked, am a white person. And I don't know one other white person or anybody, for that matter, that doesn't believe all lives matter. Uh, we hear about that all the time at the Leadership Institute's campus reform. Uh, the only people in our society that don't believe all lives matter are generally liberals who only believe viable lives matter. And that's the problem. It's unbelievable. And yeah. it's just, it's blatantly racist. And it's kind of amazing that they let me get away with this. Tell us about University of Incarnate Word in Texas is being blasted for its mansplaining statue. What is that? Yeah, the mansplaining statue. Uh, uh, some feminists got outraged when they walked on campus and saw a statue of a man with his foot up on a uh, stool and, uh, and and was talking to a woman in a condescending manner. And they're claiming that it's mansplaining while he's also manspreading, got his legs out a little wide. But is he actually talking? Isn't it? A, isn't he made out of metal? He's made out of metal, and we don't know what so he's, he's not actually about. saying anything. He's not saying anything. For all we know, the woman could be body <laughs> shaming him for having a dad bod. We don't know what's going on. Are they getting rid of this? Uh, they're not doing any action right now, but the retweets from feminists have, have uh, brought in thousands, and uh, they're outraged, as usual. I run out of things to complain about. Great to see you, Caleb right. Bonham. Thank you, Tucker. Thanks. Unbelievable.